All right, guys, chapter 55 spoils. We literally got everything from the chapters. The only thing that we do not have is the official translation, and we have to wait until tomorrow for the actual chapters to actually come out. But nevertheless, we got a bunch of information, a bunch of crazy news. First things first, we have to talk about this. It's going to be the death of Karma himself. This right here has been a very hot topic over the past couple of months, just the overall health of Naruto because of the state of the barrier mode. Originally, Karma told Naruto that they were both going to die or just Naruto could die himself from using the barrier mode and Naruto was then willing to use the barrier mode and once he used it, we had no idea what was going on. Now we finally have the idea or now we finally know 100% that Karma himself is actually the person to actually die. This right here has been absolutely insane. A couple of things that we don't really know is Will Karma actually come back in the future? The way that Karma was talking to Naruto from these translations, remind you guys, this is not the original or the official translations, but from the translations that we did get, it doesn't necessarily seem that Karma is actually going to come back. But from what we know, tailed beasts, once they die, they are going to come back eventually. So of course, it could still be a situation where Karma could potentially meet Naruto in the future. We have absolutely no idea. But this situation right here has been theorized from a lot of people. I do want to give a huge round of applause to the people who actually did predict something like this could actually be possible. Possible. congratulations as geekdom says you are a very good prognosticator one of the things that we were kind of asking was what is the state of naruto actually going to be because if karma himself actually does die what we have been taught is that a jinchiriki cannot survive without his tailed beast what karma explained in this chapter was that naruto would be fine because the tailed beast of karma was not necessarily extracted from naruto it's just that the chakra from the tailed beast has actually run out so naruto will now be fine the only question that we do have as of right now is what is the state of naruto and what is the state of sasuke going to be as far as their supremacy within the ninja world are people going to actually now try to test naruto's gangster because he is not the jinchiri give karma anymore people understand that naruto and sasuke they are going to be vulnerable but this right here could potentially cause a lot of problems in the ninja world not only for the hidden leaf fields but potentially for a lot of the other nations out there this right here is going to be a very interesting storyline to look forward to in the future now not only that sasuke's renegade seems to be actually gone it doesn't necessarily give a lot of information and here's why i think they can't necessarily give a lot of information it's mainly because Sasuke himself, he could possibly get his running gun back in the next chapter, or he could possibly not get his running gun back throughout the whole series of Boruto. It's really going to be up to the Boruto riders at this particular point. If the Boruto riders are now feeling as though they're going into a transitional period, where now the mantle is going to be shifting to Boruto and Kawaki, and they want the new and the next generation to take hold of the responsibilities of protecting the ninja world, then I'm pretty sure Sasuke will probably not get his running gun back until they pretty much surpass Sasuke to the point where even if he gets his running gun back, he still won't necessarily be as strong as Boruto or Kawaki. But as of right now, Sasuke himself said that his Renegon is useless. So of course, this ride is going to be a very interesting situation to actually look forward to in the future. Now, another thing that we did get, and possibly the biggest news, aside from the Karma thing, of course, is the fact that Ishiko Tsuki has passed his will on to Code. What we see in the small images before we even see contact with Ishiko Tsuki is that Code himself has a Karma seal on his palm. Now, this Karma seal is very different from the Karma seal that we did see Kawaki have and the one that we do see boards will have. This one right here isn't necessarily fully solid black. This right here is kind of transparent. It's just not completely filled in. And Code himself said that he was a failed vessel, that this karma seal is essentially a failed karma seal. So as of right now, Code himself has an imperfect karma seal. Now we don't really know the effects of this karma seal. We don't know if it's going to be as strong as the other karma seal. Most likely it's not going to be, but how much weaker will it actually be? And is Code actually part Otsuzuki? What we understand, once Ichigo to pulled up to code he basically told code that he wanted to continue on with his legacy specifically when ishiko Tsuki told code this we don't know here is my interpretation of what actually happened if you guys do recall back when momoshiki gave board to the karma seal they were communicating subconsciously that is what i believe is happening right here when momoshiki got hit with the rasengan momoshiki wasn't actually physically talking to boruto but they were talking subconsciously and of course sasuke seen this interaction as well i think ishiko Tsuki is doing a similar thing right here 
where Ichigo Tsuki is not necessarily physically there, he didn't necessarily physically talk to Code, but subconsciously, Code was actually communicating with Ichigo Tsuki, thus, Code now has the actual will of Ichigo Tsuki. Now, Ichigo Tsuki said some very interesting things right here, and we also seen some very interesting images. First things first, the old Suzuki god, Ichigo Tsuki supposedly wanted to become this old Suzuki god that we did see in this image right here. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this image right here looks absolutely hard. This guy looks like a goon, bro. I wanna save a lot of my takes for my actual chapter 55 review, so I'm not gonna say much, but this right here was definitely needed. One of the things that I was growing very tired with was the overall goal of the old Suzuki clan. They didn't necessarily give a lot of information about why they were doing what they were doing. They were just gathering up a bunch of chakra, creating a bunch of god trees, and of course, eating a lot of chakra fruits. And now we finally find out that a lot of the old Suzuki members, their goal is to actually become this old Suzuki god right here. The only question that we do have as of right now is will Ishigo Tsuki in the future betray Cold and reborn into the body of Cold when Cold is actually strong enough or potentially even when the karma still actually does fully develop. In the spoilers, we also find out that Kawaki himself could still kind of use some abilities of the karma seal because of course the remnants of the karma seal, the information that was actually transplanted into Kawaki is still there. Boruto could not necessarily open a portal to go directly to the Hidden Leaf Village by himself, so he needed the help of Kawaki to actually complete this task but as of right now we are in peace mode this right here has been a very very entertaining chapter and i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys just like me are super excited to actually see this chapter actually come through fruition right now we're just looking at the spoilers so when this chapter actually comes out and we do actually get the official translations we can finally figure out exactly how kwaki was talking to naruto a bunch of things and how ichigo Duke was actually talking to cold let me know what you guys think about these spoilers in the comment section below and i will link the full spoilers in the description below so if you guys want to see it you guys can see it right there in there. But it's been your boy Barbie. And we out. It's a knife.